Okay, so there's four different ways that you can use an Amazon Echo with a Sonos, and I'm going to explain all four of them in this video. Let's go. Okay, the first way that you can use an Amazon Echo to control your Sonos is with the Sonos skill for the Amazon Echo app. And what's great about it is that you can use it with any Amazon Echo. You can use the original Amazon Echo. You can use the Echo Dot. You can use the second generation Amazon Echo. You can use the Echo Show. You can use all of these different Echoes. What this thing is, is a skill that Sonos made that is available in the Amazon Echo app. So you get your Amazon Echo app. You go in there and you search for the Sonos skill, you enable it, and then you're good to go, right? Maybe. There's a lots of like balls in the air when you think about it, because you've got the Sonos, you've got the Echo, you've got the skill, you've got the apps, you've got the music services, all of these different things like working together through Wi-Fi to make this wireless music happen. Something can get messed up, right? So if you're gonna go this route, I recommend that you update everything. So go to your apps, update the Amazon Echo app to the latest version, update the Sonos app to the latest version. Go into the settings of the Sonos app and update your speakers. Oftentimes there's like a little software update hiding in there somewhere. Do that, update that thing, even update the operating system on your phone to the latest thing. Everything's like brand new, up to date. This works pretty well. Hey Alexa, play some polka in the living room. Playing polka music on living room. Couple of caveats here. When you use the skill, the Amazon Echo app Sonos skill, you are limited to only sending music from Amazon Music, that service, or from Pandora, or a couple of the other ones. Basically, you can't use it to send music from Spotify to your Sonos, or from Apple Music, or from Tidal. Those are not supported yet. Hopefully, in the future, we'll be getting those, but not right now. Another caveat is that you are only sending music to your Sonos from the Echo. Your every interaction that you have with your Echo is not going to utilize the really nice speakers and amplifiers in your Sonos equipment. It's just gonna use the, the stuff that's in your Amazon Echo. You know, some Echoes sound better than others, but if you have a really nice, awesome Sonos speaker sitting there, like, wouldn't you rather use that? when you're just talking about the weather and stuff like that. Oh, uh, by the way, if you want clearer instructions for how to get the Sonos skill for the Amazon Echo app working, um, I have a blog post that takes you through it step-by-step, -step, clearly written instructions. Just check it out, it's in the description below. Just hit that link and yeah, you can read that. Okay, the second way that you can use an Amazon Echo to control a Sonos is with a cable. Yay! This is a great way to do it because everything that Alexa says back to you, it's gonna use the awesome speakers in your Sonos. It'll ignore the speakers that are in the Echo. Huge caveat here though, this only works with the Sonos Play 5, the original one or the new one. This works with the Sonos Connect, the Sonos Connect amp, and the Sonos Zone players. Unfortunately, if you have a Sonos Play 1 or Sonos Play 3, you can't do this because those two speakers lack a line input, which makes this impossible to do. Sorry! If you have a Sonos Play 1 or Sonos Play 3 and you wanna use a cable, you just have to get a different device to go with your Sonos thing that you already have, then you'll have two. You can get like a Sonos Play 5. That sounds pretty good. Get that. The way you do this is real simple. Um, you just find the line output on your Echo and you plug it into the line input on your Sonos and you're done. Well, not really. 
what you want to do is go into the Sonos app and then hit the settings thingamajig and then you want to go into room settings and then you tap the speaker name that you plugged into with the cable and then you want to go into line in and then you want to go auto play room and again hit the name of the thing that you plugged it into should also you can adjust the sound level make it a little bit louder here alexa what is the meaning of life 42. So what kind of cable do you need to do this? Well, if you have a Sonos Play 5, the old one or the new one, you just need a mini plug to mini plug cable. If you don't know what that is, just in the description below, I have a link to that one. And you can just buy it right there. If you have the Sonos Connect, Sonos Connect Amp, or the Zone Player, you need a stereo mini plug cable to dual RCA mail. Again, if you don't know what that is, there's a link in the description below and you can buy it there. Um, there's really a lot to this actually. I have blog posts written about how to set this up as well. Wouldn't you believe it? I have a special blog post about how to use Sonos with an Echo Dot. That is in the description below. But if you have the new Echo second generation, or the Echo Plus, even the Echo Spot. Basically, uh, there's a lot, of, a lot to this. I have an, a blog post called Five Tips on How to Use a Sonos and an Echo. That's all about this cable connection solution. Um, there's different tips like you turn on this little chime with the uh, Echo so it wakes up the Sonos and you can hear every word, stuff like that. There's a, a link in the description below. This won't work if you have the original Amazon Echo, that black cylinder that started this whole revolution. Um, unfortunately, that one lacks a line output, so you can't do this. Sorry. You should use the skill that we covered in the first solution. Okay, the third solution to control a Sonos with an Amazon Echo is to use software that some person out there wrote. And they coded this thing and they shared it on a website called GitHub. And if you are technically inclined, you can download this code and do something with it to make it work. It might be obvious now, but I've never done it. So I can't really tell you much more than that. There's a link to the GitHub below. And if you can do this, good. Okay, the fourth way that you can use an Amazon Echo to control a Sonos is with this. This is the new Sonos One. This is a Sonos speaker. It has a microphone array and it has Alexa built into it. So you just buy this, right? And you plug it in, you set it up, and then that is your Echo. It's built right into the Sonos. And what's great is that you can just tell it to play music on that, and you can do the group room room thing. It's great. I have a video that explains how to get this working. So, Check out that video. It's a good one. Anyhow, I hope this was all helpful for you. Um, again, if you are confused at all, just check the description below. I have links to my blog posts that explain this stuff really clearly in like clear step-by-step -step instructions that just walk you right through it. So easy. I mean, this stuff gets confusing, right? Remember that thing earlier with the... So no skill and you had to get the... Ah. So glad there's a YouTube, right? That just makes everything easy-ish. I hope to make more videos like this if you enjoyed it. Hopefully there's more to come soon. Um, check out my blog again. The blog is important. Listen to my podcast. I do a podcast now. A podcast! Play some music. Tell you... 
Talk to your speakers. Talk to your speakers. Say, speaker, play me some polka. <laughs>